I told you. Uh, what happened between you and that man? Which man? Um, no boy. I told him to leave you alone. He came to our house shouting and bragging. Anyway, he said he will be coming to commence the marriage rights as soon as possible. And you allowed that? He must come to seek for my consent. So let's wait and see, okay? Um, I have to go. I'll see you later, okay? I don't, I don't be. Please, please. My mom, please. to beg you of one thing and I'll be glad if you can grant me the favor. Uh -huh. It's all right. If it's something I can do, I will do it. You are my daughter. <laughs> I don't want to marry Nabwen. <laughs> Is that all? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Who do you want to marry now? Um, Adam is a young man. He has a future. I want to marry him. <laughs> you see why we say you are a small girl? Hmm? We want you to marry somebody whose future is already known, bright. Rather than marry somebody whose future is unknown. Adam has no future. Have you seen his shop? How many items do you have there? Two tins of milk, one bar of soap. Is that the future he has? But this other one is rich. So he has bright future. <laughs> that will show you that we love you. Eh? Go in and eat your dinner. Adam <laughs> has a future. <laughs> With two teas of milk in his shop. One bar of soup. <laughs> and every day we bring our captain Naira. <laughs> her children. What does she think love is? <laughs> Please. I want you to start putting your mind off peace. The devil is now setting in. Mama. How can I leave a girl I have labored so much for? The girl I've come to love with all my heart. The whole village must have this. Where who are you coming? I want to see His Highness. His Royal Highness. Come, come, come. He's sleeping. Anything the matter? I want to make a report to His Highness. Are you from which village? The okay. son of Mokolo Biago from Etiti village. Yeah. Come on, but you have to wait. Okay, sir. Come in. Have you made any effort to let Nabeni know that you did what you said you did for the girl and her family? 
Yes, Your Highness. And you say the girl is insisting on marrying you? Yes, sir. Do you know you are damn lucky? Why then are you complaining? Yes, sir, I'm complaining because her family is trying to force her to marry Nabi. What then do you want His Highness to do for you? To give you money or to help you negotiate the bride price? Tell us exactly what you want His Highness to do for you. Sir, I want the Igwe to use his good office to prevail on the girl's family to allow her to marry the man of her choice. I've had you, my son. We shall send for the people involved so that we can resolve this matter peacefully, eh? Igwe. I like the courage and wisdom of the elders. Exactly. Mm. Uh, tell the palace messengers to invite the parties involved. On what date, Your Highness? Uh, help send for the palace secretary. Your Highness, come to <clears throat> was exactly what happened to me. Before you know it, Paul said he was no longer interested in the marriage. And I said, let me go back to Sunday. Do you know what? Sunday opened his mouth and told me that he has found another wife. Hey, it's not my portion in Jesus' name. Amen. I advise that you hold on to the man you love. Money is not everything. Um, that's what I've been doing, child. Those ones that are my mother and my uncle, those ones that are doing, it's not my own business. So. Don't mind them, those who don't. I won't even leave it. I won't. Susan. Susan. Come here. I hope you know him. Um, is he not the Igwe's son that came back from America? Yes. Come here. How are you? Yeah. Where are you coming from? I want to see a friend. Okay, with your friend? Yes. She doesn't want to say hi to me? Let me call her. Peace. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine. Mm, you look fine. <laughs> are you from this town? Yes. You look good, girl. I want you to be my friend. What's your name again? My name is Peace. Peace. Mm. Good name. <laughs> you are going? Oh, uh, okay. You take care of yourself now, okay? Bye-bye. Oh. son says he likes you. What type of joke is that? I'm serious. He asked me to talk to you. And do you know what? I'm listening. He says he wants to marry you. And he is mad in love. I have enough problems on my hand now. He should take his love to somewhere else. 
Shorty, you should go and look for some, someone else to marry. The prince is mad, though. And he will not take no for an answer. Then tell me and take me to him now. Or didn't you tell him the kind of problem I'm facing? Mama, welcome. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mama, what are you doing with um, a crate of mineral? Can't you see I'm starting a new business? Go and get more water to drink. Yeah. yeah. Susan, Ma? how about your mother? She's fine. Welcome. Thank you. Tell her I have started my business again. Mm -hmm. We now have Gary beans, you know? <laughs> Even bread. Every, we have everything now, eh? I will. My world is turning upside down. And my mother is making matters worse. Do you really want to marry him? I love him. He is too kind to a fault. Then I advise you insist on marrying him. Nabeni is too old for you and I wonder why he's still single. Susan, I want you to always remember me your prayers. I will. Because I don't know what my uncle and my mother are up to. Eh? Could you imagine that they collected money from um, Nabeni? Hmm? What for? Is there any other thing other than marriage? Hi, Dad. I got good news for you. Good news. What good news? I found a girl I want to get married to. Oh, that's good news. So who can that be? Ah, <clears throat> well, I'll bring her over here for you to meet her one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, but whose daughter is she? Oh, come on, Dad. You get to know all that when she comes now. Okay, I'll keep my fingers crossed and wait until you bring her. Eh? Mm, okay. <laughs> I'll sure bring her. <laughs> so, uh, where's your wife? Hmm? Your wife? My mom. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> To tell us that you are invited to the palace. Did the messenger give reasons for the invitation? It has to do with the girl you want to marry. The messenger said that Adam came and reported you to the Igwe. Adam? Mm -hmm. That means it's a case between I, Akonwat and Nabweni, and that rat. No, Uncle. I cannot come to judgment with that little rat. Um, the way we people in the village see things is different from the way you see things. If you fail to come, the Igwe may take it as a personal insult. You are coming to answer the Igwe, not Adam. Do you get that? Son. Yes, ma'am. It's Mike. Okay. Well, how is everything, ma'am? Everything is fine. And how is everybody? We are all fine. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Welcome. Thank you. Um, I came to see Peace. Peace? Ah. Yes, ma'am. Ah. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, how are you? How are you? Please. Please. How are you? Um, I want to go and fetch water from the stream. Well, that's good. Let's go together. Didn't Susan tell you what I told her? 
Well, she did. That is why I'm here. I want us to talk. You know, I've been to my father about you. Prince! Please, I don't want my mother to think that there's anything between us, okay? Oh, no, no, you don't have to be afraid of anything, okay? I can even let her know about it now. Do I tell her now? Jesus! Please go, eh? I'll, I'll come and see you later, okay? Oh. Later when? Today. Today? Yes. Sure? Yes. Alright, my love. I'm expecting you. Uh, peace! Come in. What were you discussing with him? Nothing, Mama. Nothing? Nothing, please? Nothing. The Igwe son cannot come here. And you tell me that both of you are not discussing anything. Mama, I said nothing. Very soon, we will know what both of you are discussing. It won't be long. Go and fetch water for me, Biko. I want you to understand my plight. It's not possible to actually love two men at the same time. Peace. Love don't just exist. It is something you develop over time. Hmm? I like you. You're my kind of girl. And I believe we can work on this likeness to achieve love. It's not possible. My heart is for Adam. He, he met me when I was nothing and accepted me the way I was. He fed and clothed me. He was the man that made my flower to blossom. I won't disappoint him. Okay, let's work it out like this. Hmm? I'll give you some time to think about this, okay? I've made up my mind already. I came because I don't want to be seen with you. Ah, no, no, no. Not so fast. Okay, okay. But not without introducing him to my father. No, it's not necessary. How can you come here without saying hello to my father and you just live like that? Okay, if you insist, but it makes no difference. Whatever. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <coughs> that? This is the girl I told you about. The girl I want to marry. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. My daughter, who is your father? Obonna. Late Obonna Igwe of ATT village. Why are you crying? I want to go. But you don't have to cry. Death comes when it comes. Hmm? May his soul rest in perfect peace, eh? Mike, can you see how? Okay. Come on, not so fast. Come on. Prince, Nabuin, 
Who is my husband? Why is Prince coming into this picture? To endanger my life the more? Or to bring an end to all this sore problem? God, fight for me. Choose for me. If Adam is truly my husband, Father, give me the spirit to endure to the end. Again. Go, I'll come on there. Let's go in the car now. Let us go. She can always come there. Please. I thought by now you would have seen the reality of life. <laughs> you need somebody who can take care of your mother and your entire family. It's all for your happiness. Whatever it is, I'll come on my own. Let's go. She will find her way. Let's go. Welcome. Igwe. 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 Why do you want to cheat a boy out of his fortune? <laughs> Igwe. I don't even know the boy talk less of uh, cheating him out of his fortune. What is the boy's name? That's Adam. Igwe, my name is Adam Mukolobiago. Igwe, where is the girl? Your Highness, she is here. Please, stand up. Come and stand here so that Igwe can see you very well. My name is Peace, the daughter of late Oguna Igwe of Etiti village. The daughter of late Oguna Igwe of Etiti village. Now, who do you love? The prince, the rich man, or the poor man? Huh? Please talk now. Chen 
this case is a difficult one. Um, you are one of the great sons of the town, but how do I force a girl to marry you out of her wish? Igwe, I have invested so much on this project and it will be unheard of that a small boy defeated me in a battle of love. So, I want to wipe away your shame. I want the entire community to see you as the victor. Forget about the poor little girl. How can I do that, Your Highness? Just wait. Chinelo. Yes, Daddy. Come with your sisters. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. You turn the name. These are my daughters. They are of the same age grade with the girl in question. Choose among them whom to marry. ladies, mm -hmm. ladies of honor, princesses, but love is the only thing that strikes a man and that man has no option than to follow his dream. Thank you, Your Highness. My son, Ichien Nabeni insists on marrying that girl, please. I, I wouldn't offered him the choice of marrying any of your three sisters, but he refused. I've heard all that, Dad. I just want to tell you, once I get back to America, I'm going to look for a white girl to marry. What did you just say? Look, I will cease to be your father the day you marry a white woman. Then if you don't want me to marry a white woman, Dad, tell Peace to marry me. Do you want me to force her to marry you? No, Dad, you don't have to force her. All you have to do is use your position to influence her, her family, and members of your cabinet. That's all. I've heard you, but... I'd like to let you know that marrying a white woman will mean that you will never ascend the royal throne of Umumba. Mm. Okay. Okay. I'll marry peace. Mike! Come back here. Come back here and sit down. What's wrong with you?
I'm robust. Eh? In that bag. Food. I want to go and give it to Adam. Bring it, let me see. She will follow you. Hey, let her follow me. Yes. You know that she even fought me. I didn't know fight that. That fight is not yet over. I didn't know fight that. Yes, ah! hey. 
she will follow you. Better follow me now. Please, Oya. Oh, yeah. Follow your mother. Go, 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 come on, go. It has come to you fighting your mother, eh? I did not fight her. My daughter, are you saying that your mother lied against you? No. Peace. Are you too big to listen to this family? By the way, what are you still doing with Adam? Ask her. You people are against me because my father is dead. Nobody is against you because your father is dead. What the family is saying is that you deserve a better future. Better future. I don't need the future you people are arranging for me. Eh? Besides, Uncle, were you not the one my father asked that you should make sure that nothing stands between Adam and I? Your own brother asked you that you should make sure that I get married to Adam. Peace, this is not why we called you. That is why you called me. My father will turn in his grave should he get to know the kind of life you people are arranging for me. Huh? I am now a vessel of merchandise that can be sold to make money. If you people keep listening to her, she will talk from now till tomorrow. Look, what now? If I see your foot near that boy, if I see you near him again, whether he calls himself Adam or not, I don't want to know. If I see you near him, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. My daughter, I am not saying that you should marry a man you do not love. My concern is that you fought your mother. But if you deny fighting your mother, remember that the Almighty Father is watching you. She fought me. I, I didn't fight her. She fought me. You fought her. You fought me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Come on, tell me something else. <laughs> but do you know if there is anything like Bachelor's Club, you ought to be the chairman. And what are you insinuating? Oh, nothing, nothing. I'm not insinuating anything. But <laughs> that reminds me that he once told me he found a wife. So what is happening? Uh, that girl is disappointing. But trust me, one day I will have her under this roof as my wife. Trust me. If she is disappointed, why not with another girl since her mind is made up to settle that? Oh man, you need to see this girl. Mm. Pretty little thing. The kind of girl you go to places with. In that case, we wait till her. she changes her mind. Of course, she will change her mind. If you insist. Don't worry, you get to see her, you get to see her. Oh, I'm waiting. Is running away. Huh? This girl will kill me, Biko. This girl will kill me. Huh? My love. Come, we have seat, Biko. Why is your daughter behaving like this? Huh? Only mom, come, 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 we have seat. Come. 
Let me find Kona for you people. That cola is not as important as what we came here to discuss. Let me find cola now, be cool. What's that cola? Uchewa. Stop worrying yourself about cola. Our coming is to know when to commence the marriage rites. That's all. That's why we're here. Actually, Uchewa, has your daughter accepted to marry my son? Eh? You see, we have discussed it. She only said she needs a little time to get the other boy off her mind. In fact, she has accepted though. She has accepted. <laughs> Madam, I am giving you people up to the end of next month. It's either we commence the marriage rights or you start thinking of how to refund the monies I've spent. This is my investment. My son, you know, it hasn't come to refunding of money now. I said she has accepted. Where go? Hmm? <laughs> Mama, let's be going. The Igbo sent for me, and I know it's in respect of uh, this married group issue. Uh -huh. Just tell the Igbo that my daughter has accepted. Huh? Uh, she has accepted. Oh? <laughs> be fast about you, too. I said, be fast about there's you. no problem. She has accepted now. Huh? That's no fear. Just tell the people that my daughter has accepted. Oh? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
and hand it out to me. What do you want? I want to see her. Look at this girl. How many times have I warned you not to come to this station again? Sir, I bought bread and sardine for you. Wait. Is it not because of you that this boy was arrested? Listen, before the count of three, disappear from this station. Sir, I One, two, and sardine for him, but they refused me seeing him. Please, you can go home now. We have come to see if we can release him. My daughter, you can go home. He will come with us. Beating about the bush now. Tell me about this dream. My son, yeah. I dreamt that you were shot and killed. <laughs> Please, I don't want to lose you now. Leave this town for now. But, Mama, where do I go to? Do I leave my shop for? Adam, what is important now is your life. Take whatever you can from your shop and leave the rest. Why me? There's no peace They say love without money Cannot win I have to leave I must go It's not safe anymore My life's in danger There's no peace they say love without money cannot win. I have to leave. I must go. It's not safe anymore. My life's in danger. There's no peace. They say love without money. 
without money cannot win. I have to leave. I must go. It's not safe anymore. My life's in danger. There's no peace. They say love without money cannot win. Adam, let me nice to us. I want you to look after my daughter for me. Look after her very well. Yes, Papa, I will, but first you have to get out of the bed, like, I mean, like uh, Uncle Wokulu said. Yes, I know. But before <laughs> I do that, I need some water. I'm glad to know you know me. And who's the girl with you? Um, she's my sister, she's my sister, sir. Any problem? Yes, there's a problem. The problem is she's beautiful. I'd like to marry her. Um, no, I don't think that is possible, sir. She's my wife to be, sir. Ah, oh, you just said she's your sister. You want to marry your sister? And what's not possible about it? It's not possible, sir. It's, it's not possible. All right. I can only be his wife on one condition. What condition is that? Mm, no need of saying it. Let's wait and see.
It's not safe anymore. My life's in danger. There's no peace. They say love without money cannot win. I have to leave. I must go. It's not safe anymore. My life's in danger. There's no peace. They say love without money cannot win. Mama, please, where is Ada? Good afternoon. Yeah, sorry, ma. Good afternoon. Where is Adam? Adam has left town. Why? How? When, Mama? He left last night. When is he coming back? He may not come back soon. It may take years. So I'm advising you to go and look for somebody else to marry. Mama, he left without informing me. <laughs> That's your business. How long are you going to brood over this thing? The painful thing is that he left town without even telling me. He left because he's tired of the whole thing. Why not pick yourself up? You've got but one life to live, remember? Susan, you don't understand. I, I still love him. I know. Love goes, love comes. But life goes but for once. So leave it while it lasts. Maybe I should inform Prince to come and keep you company. No, no, I don't need him. You need him. You need him. Stop pretending. You need him. I want to. Let's be side. You need him. Stop pretending. Stop all these things. Where is your mother? She's not. All these things, huh? I know you need him. Stop pretending. Now, are you willing to cooperate with us now or not? Tell me, who is your boss? I'll talk, I'll, I'll talk. Stop it, I'm going to say I'll talk now. Who is your boss? Tebakuma is our boss. He supplies us with guns and tells us where to go. Chief, from where? From where? Hey, from where? From where? From where? I don't know his place. I've told Chief you to do now. Say Chief who? I'll talk to you later. I'll be back. Let's go back. Right. You need them. You want to see. Have you seen the fates that would have befallen you? Nabini. Nabini. Nobody knew that Nabini is a criminal. And they said he is to spend 32 years in jail. Have you seen where my mother was pushing me to? The house of a robbery can be. I would have become the wife of a robber. It's only God that saved him. Biko, my daughter, forgive me. Oh, forgive me. I did not know that Nabeni is a thief. I was overtaken by his show of wealth, throwing bundles of money here and there 50, 10, 100. Forgive me, Biko. <laughs> <laughs> Come, come. 
I hope you're so proud. They said that Nabin was arrested and jailed. Hmm. Oh. I have heard it too. That is what we are just discussing here now. Ha! Ah, wonder shall never end. Thank, thank God he has not married peace. I thank God though. I'm going to the Igwe's palace. He sent for me. Ah. Yes, I'm going to see him in the palace. It's alright. I'm going to until you come back, eh? The prince is still in love with him. I think you should open your heart for him. Hmm? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Prince. How are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. How about you? He is fine. Man. And your mother? He's fine. Welcome, man. Eh? Prince, yeah, Prince, how are you? Ah, peace. Are you still crying? Eh? Don't mind her. Come on, you shouldn't be crying by now. God has saved you from entering into the house of a robber. I'm not saved yet. What is the problem? My soul abandoned me. Oh, oh, come on. Your soul cannot abandon you. I'm here to keep you company. You need a strong-willed man. Not a man who will retreat at the middle of a battle. Not the way I'm here for you, okay? Hmm? Come here. Uh, Prince! Prince! Mama. Come and sit down here. Eh? Don't cry again, huh? Don't cry again, okay? What did you bring for us from abroad? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of goodies. Uh, yes. Dad. 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 Yes, my Peace has agreed to marry me. Peace has agreed to marry me, Dad. Mike. Oh, Mike, do you mean that you've been following that poor little girl up till now? Oh, yes, Dad. Why not? Dad, love knows no bound. It pays to love and be loved. Okay, I would like to see the girl once again. Okay, Dad. I'll go get her, okay? I'll go and get her. This in Kwenu, she was your husband. Ever will it be you? 
This show of arrogance. But no, I am not. Eh? What? Both of you come here. I say, come here, both of you. influence cannot woo love. You have found yourselves as a man and a woman meant for each other. What? Yes. I do not want anybody, anybody in this community to disturb their love anymore. <laughs> Adam, come to me for the sum of 500,000 naira to start up your business again. Papa, I'm not going to take this. Sit down. I'm not going to take this. I said, shut up and sit down. Please, sit down. Obey, obey. Play the music for them to dance. You and I will leave us one. You and I will leave us one. Oh, you, you, you and I. You and I. You and I will leave us one. Oh, you, you, you and I. You and I. You and I. You and I.
could never leave you, no, no. When there was nothing, you were there.